Now that the immediate danger is out of the way, more people are starting to share footage they captured during yesterday's storm. Like this video rolling into St. James Parish, a convent likely hit by that wall of darkness you see making its way through the area. Governor John Bell Edwards is touring the damage today, and so is our Jaron Jordan. He just spoke with officials and joins us now live from convent with the very latest. Good afternoon. Hey, Lauren, good afternoon to you from St. James Parish. You know, the latest here is that two people are dead, dozens more injured, some still listed with critical injuries this afternoon. Behind us is the Sugar Hill RV Park, where officials believe one tornado ripped through this community, killing those two people. Now, right now, we have damage surveyors with the National Weather Service inside touring and assessing some of the damage, and there is plenty to assess. There's also, as you can see, a line of folks who we believe to be uh, have lived in these uh, RV parks just now being allowed in to recover some of their belongings. Emergency officials still calling this a search operation as there are still a number of folks unaccounted for while others are starting their path to some sort of normalcy. St. James Parish, so does the reality of what happened here. Severe storms through South Louisiana, one confirmed tornado ripping through the Sugar Hill RV Park and Convent. It was the scariest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. Josh Keith was in his RV Tuesday when the storms ripped through. Just like a tumbling car and I smashed, the tree smashed into it and I was pinned. I can't, it happened so fast, it sound, I don't know. I, it, I was pinned down screaming for help, I needed help, I couldn't move, literally. And then I eventually wedged my way out and started helping who I could. This afternoon, he's back with his brother to collect what's left. He leaves empty handed except for his mother's ashes and a Bible. Uh, people trying to get in here, the law enforcement wouldn't let nobody in here with their families that were hurt. Uh, I literally snuck through the woods to the back to get to my brother. For the second time in the last 12 hours, Governor John Bell Edwards visited the area to assess the damage by both air and land. Clearly, uh, until we have everybody accounted for, there's going to be a search operation going on. And so we would ask your patience. All morning, heavy equipment has been rolled into the RV park to help with cleanup efforts. And with daylight, you can see just how unforgiving and unapologetic Mother Nature can be in some areas. Still, RVs upright, but in other areas, those RVs completely leveled. What daylight has shown us, just the, uh, the amount of damage that was done in this short period of time, it's, it's pretty extensive. The road to recovery will be long and hard, but it's times like these where we're reminded of the resiliency of Louisiana the people, even our four-legged friends, a resiliency strong enough to overcome Mother Nature's wrath. Louisiana has a, a people that have been through a lot, and, and they persevere, and, and, and resilient people, and, and that's going to continue here. And back here live, what you're looking at outside of the Sugar Hill RV Park are a number of residents being allowed back into the RV Park just to start recovering some of their belongings. One of the biggest groups that we've seen, and we've been here all morning of residents uh, first returning back to the Sugar Hill Park where this tornado ripped through. Some very important information for you right now about how emergency officials are assessing accounted versus unaccounted for. What I'm told is that the manager of this RV Park actually gave emergency officials a master list of about 300 names of people who were living in this RV park. Now, emergency officials have been able to account for about 85% of the folks on that list. That means that 15% are unaccounted for, but that does not mean that they are injured or that they're missing. It just simply means that emergency officials have not been able to contact them. So what you need to do if you or someone you know lives in this area, they need to call the dispatch center at 225-562-2200 just to say, hey, I'm okay, my family member is okay, because officials want to get that 85% number accounted for up to 100. Obviously, the long road to recovery starting right now after these uh, deadly tornadoes and deadly storms rip through South Louisiana, especially right here in St. James Parish. We're live this afternoon in Convent. I'm Jaron Jordan, WAFB 9 News.